so all right looking at this looking at this so do you guys know that um i tend to say <coughs> oh it's hard to make predictions because you don't have enough data right so do you guys know what i mean by that that's today's question Do you guys know by what I mean by I don't have enough data to make predictions? What do I mean by that? There's really one word I'm, I'm looking for, but I don't think anybody would get that word. I'll give you like 10 seconds. All right, nobody has the word projection. No, 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 no. I mean, like, I can't, I can't make predictions because I don't have enough data. Why do I say that? Because there's a chance of. Yo, what the hell? Yo, hold on, hold on. Why the fuck is hold on? I don't know who's coming into my house trying to, you know, check something. All right, but anyways. All right, do you, have y'all come up with the word yet? Am I recording, bro? Yeah, they're going to see that. <laughs> All right, so the word I'm looking for, <clears throat> no, I'm looking for disruption because disruption can happen. And like, let me show you this. So like, starting from market open, right? This is the 19th, 21st market open, right? Because of this gap, you know, that obviously ruined the entire bias, right? Because on EU, that obviously took out the entire, uh, the, the low, right? That took out the low on EU, and we'll come back to that in a bit, right? Which is why, you know, it's very possible, or it's very hard to make projections Right, um, until you're actually at the point at the right at the correct time that it's happening, right? And there, I don't, by correct time, I just mean the actual time when it's happening. So, because we have a large gap now, right? If we're looking at smaller time frames, right? We're judging this as being the daily wick um, rejected, right here. Daily wick rejection, right? Rejection. So, because market open is here, right, that completely invalidates the bias because we've already taken this out, right? So, I'm now t I've taken this structure out now, and now I have all this mess happening in here, right? It's hard to make that you know decision here. So now I'm waiting to see whether or not we're going to continue. So we're bullish because we already took the structure point out. So even though the reaction caused the quote unquote dis uh, initial break of structure, the quote unquote disruption on this uh, leg here, right? This now opened here, which took this out. So it's another form of disruption, right? So the disruption, right, pr pretty much invalidates the this entire bearish bias. <coughs> Right? And if we're trying to make a play, then we have to wait for this to show its hand. Right? So what, like we said, right, the most recent structural range here is bullish. Right? But I'm also paying attention to what happens here in order to dictate a bias. So I'm looking at, right? The, essentially the reaction from here I don't know what where this mitigated from okay you can see say potentially SC here uh, 45 minute nope 15 minute inefficiency fill there 10 minute 
okay you could see indecision candle and you could see the open open was mitigated then it was purged there here right and then that led to a downside move right but order flow to the downside is in play if i'm looking at the immediate uh, leg there on a smaller time frame right we have an inefficiency fill and we have you know the completion of that the liquidity has been taken so although this is our overall scale i'm also looking at the continuation potentially so where does price react to right we see the correction come right and we see right inefficiency there not played out m15 inefficiency is actually bigger so inefficiency in play inefficiency leads to the break of structure making this a solidified high based on high low retracement break of structure solidifies high right but the overall leg is still bullish right so we do not meet the break of structure there and essentially we see momentum to the upside so what does that signify Let me go now. Okay. <clears throat> so we now have the inefficiency, right? Reacted, took out the preliminary levels of structure, even caused the quote unquote disruption here, right? That then created a momentum to the upside. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I see this as a disruption. I see this as showing its hand, which completely invalidates any type of bearish continuation because we had the solidified high because we took out those initial levels of structure signaling that that pullback or that essential trend pro trend move based on this scale here right is in play but we showed our hand to the other side right so because there's momentum right there is the inefficiency fill here which generates the upside move right all because we let it show its hand to the upside and this minor intraday you could say and you could say this is a major intraday leg right even though this leg here is still inside of the original range right we now have a show yeah this showing its hand i'm sorry showing its hand pretty much mitigation continuation based on the beginning scale or the beginning overall structural range here so right this is essentially reading disruption which is why it's hard to predict right predict price because you can for example it's very simple to find this inefficiency try to predict it right to that this will then create a new low high low retracement continuation but you can't do that because it can all change in one instant in which in this case was 30 to 45 minutes but <clears throat> as you can see all it takes is one quote-unquote reversal to change your entire bias which is why it's hard to try to make those assumptions that price is going to react here and why you play based on reactions and why it's best to wait to wait for price to show its hand right so that's what then generated the move to the upside and as you can see right we're currently reacting from there so I don't know. I don't think that'll hold. We'll see. But moving on to EU. Right. Same thing here. So if we're looking at our structure, right after we saw the disruption here that we'd mentioned, I believe you mentioned it on Saturday, um, right? Because we saw this push up and then we seen it fail, right? So because it failed, not only did it this fail here broke break structure right but it's now completely invalidated a bias because even though there's equal highs here you cannot just buy and pray you know it doesn't make sense so right because we had this break of structure here this is now the leg in play right so right as you can see right we see essentially a minor break of structure here probably a scalp break of structure here a retracement generates a liquidity grab here mitigation of the liquidity grab 
right? Continuation, continuation, even breaks the preliminary level of structure, right? But I'm acknowledging the fact that we have a turbulence point here. Turbulence point because you can see price is essentially moving sideways, right? Very corrective, right? Shows a quote unquote minor break of structure here to the upside, but then you see it fail, continue, fail, and then continue lower and lower, and it was never tapped. So inside of this turbulence point, there's actually a POI there, right? So leg is bearish, right? You see the reaction here. But if you want to pay attention to the structure in play, this is still bullish. Why? Because this needs to be bullish in order for us to correct from the overall bearish leg, right? So we got the reaction, preliminary structure break, right? But the leg is still bullish, right? But the thing here is, is that there is a liquidity grab here. So I, I didn't check this, but I don't know if there's a mitigation here. Right, okay, as you can see, right, we see the liquidity grab inside of here, right? So the liquidity grab, right, does not lead to a quote unquote structure break, but, right, I'm calling it a liquidity grab because price came back to mitigate the wick, create a new scalp break of structure. So this is now here is my liquidity grab based on this low, right? And this could be essentially a type of mitigation or any inefficiency fill here, right? But what matters is the fact that we just had the break of structure here, right? So the break of structure here solidifies this low based on low high retracement continuation, right? But inevitably after that, right? This was not sustainable because now looking at these at the selling perspective right this move here came back to mitigate right any efficiency fill there right so right this move is now generating bearish order flow based on reaction of the POI but you can't just take the sell. This sell is a high risk trade because this is still bullish and this has already shown signs of continuation of bullishness. So even though you acknowledge this, you can take this trade with your point of validation being probably up here or even up here, <coughs> right? Which is still, let's see how, how many pips is that? Three pips or six pips. So that can still happen. Right, but it's hard to make this assumption because the minor intraday is still bullish. Right, does that make sense? Does that make sense? Do you guys see what I'm saying here? Cool. So low, high retracement, break of structure solidifies this low, right? But we react from the M15 um, inefficiency fill, leading to a scalp BOS here. Right, and from here we came back to correct. I'm pretty sure it was again to the M15, unless I'm mistaken. No, mistaken. Okay, here, perfect. So, M10 in efficiency fill, filled to perfection. Because there's a break of structure after the mitigation, after the POI reaction, this is your high probability trade, right? With your SL being four pips, right? Just to be sure. Um, so just because you ca you didn't, you know, you essentially missed that, that doesn't necessarily mean it's the end of the world because you're just acknowledging this as disruption, right? This here, disruption, because of this disruption, right? Disruption generated bearish order flow, bearish order flow again, right? You now have high, low retracement, right? Even came here and this actually left equal highs Right, but this left equal highs, but that doesn't mean they have to be taken out. Like this is something I've told you guys since day one, and that is liquidity does not influence bias. So, right from here, high, low, inefficiency fill, retracement, continuation. Why? Because we generated bearish order flow, 
right? This is where it was initially generated because of the reaction of the POI, of the reaction of the reaction of the POI. I, I hope I said that right. Um, but then after bearish order flow was generated initially, we led to a scout BOS, uh, bearish uh, order flow here, continuation, right? Again, continuation, final mitigation, bearish order flows in play, right? So even though the leg, minor intraday leg was not essentially taken out, right? It's read, it's, it's, it's possible. Okay. I'm gonna say it's possible, but it's readable. Um, and it's, and that's what matters in my opinion, right? Because liquidity grab mitigation, break of structure, solidified low, right? Low, high retracement. But after that's taken out, that's disruption of this entire bear, bullish move, right? And that's where the, and this is what I've pretty much been studying for like the past three months, pretty much since I was making the course. Like this is what I was looking into, right? Is for one, I don't think anybody knows order flow, so I have to make my own rules for it. So with order flow, I have to interpret, right, disruption, because in order for bullish to become bearish and bearish to become bullish, there has to be the transition. So I see the transition as disruption, and that's how the concept was put together. <clears throat> but as you can see here, right, equal highs, right, equal highs is actually mitigation, right, the high was not broken. So this is still generating bearish order flow because it's reacting from the wick. Um, <clears throat> and that's a very nice trade because your bias was there, right? Same thing here, low, high disruption, right? But retracement break of structure here, solidified low reaction, right? Disruption, conversion, release, right? Uh, yeah, and as you can see, that happened. So it's very, very interesting. I think I think this is very, very educational for you guys to see. And the cool thing is that you're seeing it live. That's what matters with me is that you're seeing it live. <clears throat> So yeah, order flow is definitely the emphasis um, this time around. Yeah, and I want to see who copies me from here. I want to see who copies me. This is going to be so funny. I'm only joking though. I don't really care. It's whatever. Um, but yeah, anyways, this is all I've been looking at this week, if I'm being honest. Uh, I haven't even looked at EG or G or G. I'm sorry. I was kind of stressing this week. I thought I had a midterm tomorrow, but it's actually next Wednesday. Yeah, see, like shit show. <laughs> Look at this shit show right here. Um, honestly though, I mean, I'd like to see that. That makes sense, right? Because I like seeing this. I like seeing something like this. Just off the bat, I've, I've, I haven't even touched this pair, right? But I'm looking at, right from a Wyckoff perspective, right? SOW, up thrust, right? Where do we see that? Um, here, where do you see that? Here, SOW, up thrust. Right, so that's interesting to see. Maybe London will show you something. That'd be nice. That'd be cool. Right, SOW, up thrust. If we're looking at volume, right, there is still no climactic action. Right, I would have loved to see the climactic action here. Right, but I wouldn't be surprised to see another pop up just because unwillingness. But yeah, um, GU, I think GU had a very nice setup this morning. I think Falco caught it. 
Let's see. Let's review his stuff. So I haven't even seen it yet. All right, let's see. Okay. Okay, so we're analyzing legs, right? Potential liquidity gap here, right? But leg is still bearish. Acknowledging leg is still bearish, right? Start a pullback, right? Here's what we see. Initial break of structure, solidified low. Start a pullback. Cool. That's nice. <coughs> cool. So now he sees another push up. Liquidity grab. Right. Very appealing POI. Let's see what price gives us when we enter that zone. Cool. Inefficiency still there. I see that. Potential SE here. Right. Place the limit there. Right. Very nice. Right. Here. Right. But the reaction caused a break of structure. So now because you have a bearish break of structure, you're not in flow with the original leg that he pointed out. Um, okay, cool. Inefficiency here, conservative entry, right there. So very, very nice. And that generated a massive move actually. Yeah, so one pip, two pips, nice. Very nice. Looking for a target, right? Pretty much to the T. Very nice, very nice. So you see the order flow stuff is pretty much the game changer, I think. Of course, application. Uh, take that out. But yeah, I mean, this here is, is bearish for sure. It's bearish 100%. Right, best case, we can come back up here and continue lower. Best case we leave equal lows. Can we come back higher? That would be nice. Just because I see this now as showing its hand to the downside. Right? And if we're thinking reasonable POIs, right, this has already been mitigated, but unless there's something else down there. Right, not too likely. Not too likely. And I also want to stop taking lows. Right, so honestly, this wick isn't even appealing to me, but it could be. It could be something appealing. You guys can digest that and digest this and look into that. But the thing is, I don't want to take a low. Um, but there is a possibility that there is still something here, right? Because there is a chance that we can just you know leave equal lows, come up, come down, right? Supply is definitely slowing down. And as you know, as an entire scale, right? So if you get one final push on low volume, right? There could be some type of liquidity grab M1 BOS. And that would, <coughs> and that would need to take out this high here, right? So that we can then have a solidified low, low, high retracement continuation. That's the only reasonable um, buy scenario that I see. I don't want to see this come lower than here, right? Just because if I'm looking at lower than here, it doesn't make any sense to me coming down here. Um, that looks extremely deep to me, right? But theoretically, I'd like to keep this full leg intact, right? You see showing its hand, then the full leg. But yeah, anyways, do you guys have any questions? Um... Okay, let me see. Who's got any questions? You're good. You're good. Cool. Um, I'm waiting on two admins to finish their notes. When they should probably give them to me by tomorrow. I do need to remake one video. Uh, and yeah, after that, I should be uploading everything o over the weekend. The music at the start of zooms the thing is i don't know if you guys liked my music <laughs> like i don't think everybody likes my music so it's like you know and i don't know what music to play because i could play a reggaeton or i could play like some trap or like i can play some r&b 
just all I know is that Sergio is not going to get Ox. That's all I know. You guys don't want him on Ox. What's the biggest indicator for bias shift? Um, waist over weight, pick and bottoms. Uh, focusing on the leg in, that's intact currently. Like you see, you see Falco's markups. Let's look that up again. So Falco, let me stop sharing. So you see this, right? This is the game changer here, right? He acknowledges this, right? But where's my, right? So this is something, this is something that shows to me veteranship or experience, right? Because the typical trader will see this as a break of structure and then try to buy here. Right, but it's important to forever acknowledge this. This is going to be the game changer on whether or not you're going to have consistent winners or you're going to have a bunch of losses before you get a winner, in my opinion. Honestly, bro, it's everybody. Like, that, that even used to be me. It's, that's something everybody goes to. Like, that's why I say, like, when you acknowledge this, that shows veteranship. And that shows that I know you've lost a lot of trades in order for to, to, to know this. Yeah, so you see, if you already start the wrong way, you're going to finish off the wrong way. Yeah, you see, and yeah, 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 definitely. Just acknowledging your legs. We all do, bro. Everybody makes that mistake. I still make that mistake occasionally, which is why it's always important to mark that out. And if you have to put it in a dark color, then put it in a dark color. If you have to make it in a bright color because your your screen is black or something, then by all means do that. But just make it stand out because you never want to give up on that bias, right? Because I think that shows that you're looking for what you see. You're not looking for what you want to see. And that's like a big, you know, difference maker. But there really is no, like, for example, biggest indicator in terms of um, singularity. It's all plural. By that I mean there's a bunch of confluences that goes into it. Like in order for me to assume a reversal, right? Like for example, the reversal I just showed you here with EU. I, I didn't need that full structure break, but we needed that preliminary structure break. But that preliminary structure break was interpreted as disruption. Right? So disruption, you could add volume in there. Right, break of structure, overall leg, right? That's how I would essentially go through that. So it's a confluence, it's a accumulation. So hopefully that answers your question. Exactly, definitely, yeah, definitely. Yeah, the thought of catching a swing off the M1 BOS, much more appealing than just a continuation, yep. But in the long run, you don't want to look pretty. You just want to make bread, right? Hence why I get you guys to stay off IG. Hence why I never tell you guys to post on IG, post your screenshots, because it's it'd be kind of contradictory, right? I want you to focus on you. I want the next person to focus on them. question about the course what is it with the with a new course have similar structure or different one um can somebody uh where did i put that in the discord can, did i pin it uh no not here i pinned it right i pinned it somewhere no i didn't i pinned it there you go right there Pin messages under announcements. Yeah, announcements. Yeah, okay, cool. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, because so the website, like, the website right now is is laid out in the way that this, that in the way that the new course is going to be laid out. Laid, yeah, I said that right, hopefully. Um, it used to be intermediate, 
uh, advanced, adva like advanced one, two, and three, psychology, like that used to be the old layout. But we changed it over to phases, right, a couple of weeks ago, just so we prepare for this transition. Um, when are you going to keep 2021 calls in, uh, in the new system? But the rest will still be there. Old and new will be accessible. The old course? Uh, I mean, after you watch the new course, I don't think you'll need the old course, if I'm being honest. Actually, Juan. Juan, can you turn on your mic, please? Do I have any other admins in here? Oh, he did he? Oh, no, he's not. He's in here. Uh, Juan, can you unmute yourself, please? Is that the only admin we have on? Yeah, I think it is. Oh, you don't have a mic? Um, do you think people will need the old course after they watch the new course? No, no, you're good. You can just you can just type. I don't I don't care. There's your answer. And I mean, I still kind of want to um, post the old course on YouTube just to stop people from reselling it. Not the pair breakdowns, not the webinars, just the course, what was leaked. But I'm gonna wait for you guys to um, I'm gonna wait for you guys to watch it first before I bring that back up. Oh, can you hear me now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh no, dude! I don't think they'll need the old course after this one. All right, cool. So, yeah. So there's your answer. Yeah, I mean to be fair though, people aren't really reselling it anymore. I think people notice that I'm not trying to take advantage of people. So I don't really see that many people reselling anymore. Yeah, I mean, I guess, because you get to talk to me. But yeah, do you guys have any more questions? Um, let's see, we've been going for 30 minutes today. The thing is too, is I'm kind of waiting to see what our, uh, what's it called? Our uh, quarter closure is gonna be like, because that is no bueno to me. And as you can see, there's probably an SC somewhere in here. And that's where it's reacting from right now. But just because we reacted doesn't mean we need to follow through. Yeah, so who knows? I'm waiting to see what happens. Uh, I mean, you can't assume, you can't assume this to be unwillingness until this breaks, technically based on rules, because you don't have that initial break of structure, which would be here. Um, I mean, all we're going to do, bro, is copy and paste links. So it won't be out for more than like two, three hours. Here, let me see what this one is. Mm. 
Yeah, the new stuff uh, is very secured. Like, I think we're going to have IP on your screen, email on your screen, account number on your screen, name on the screen. And if you blur it out, then you won't be able to see anything on the on the screen. So. No, bro. No, 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 no. Look, the new the, the old course is the what the videos you're watching, the pair breakdowns. That's going to be that's staying there. Like I even showed you, I'm going to add one. That those aren't going anywhere. Like I showed you guys on Saturday, I think. The pair break, like I said, the pair breakdowns aren't part of the old course. The pair breakdowns are a completely different section, just like the webinars are. But yeah, the EG one you guys will really like. That one, and it was 20 minutes, so it's straight to the point. Considering I broke it down completely. That's what I'm saying, like, I don't... Um, I think that with the new material, I think you guys will enjoy it. So that's why I'm waiting for you guys to, to look into that first before I even bring up the whole, uh, um, what's it called? I bring up the whole, the whole putting it on YouTube thing. And about this, right? So the thing is, right, looking at the old course material, right? That's the only reason why I wouldn't want to take this. I would want to see, well, here, here, or here. I wouldn't want to take this. I'd like to take the reaction. Yeah. I mean, th don't get me wrong, the v the POI is valid. The POI is definitely valid. But the thing is, is structure. But I do like, um, I mean, there's overall diminishment. There isn't necessarily anything taking, you know, leadership here in terms of volume. And keep in mind, too, is like, look at this. You also got it. Like, this is also kind of like what I mean. With trying to stress continuations. Even though this is technically weak order flow, there's still um, order flow to the upside because we then had this. All right, so if I'm reading order flow here and I'm looking at this or this, either one is fine, All right? Looking at this entire leg. So I'd naturally want this to be my POI. So if this is weak order flow, I like to see the shift, which is here. You know, obviously we purged the high here, but we led to a breakup structure. But immediately after, you see this show its hand. So bullish order flow is in play. That's why I said I'd rather let it react. This is a great target one after the conversion, after the conversion. Yeah. <sighs> but yeah, do you guys have any more questions? Are there any new people in here? Oh yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Like, I mean, there's a lot of people that joined because they watched the leaked version. And like, I hate saying that though. Like, I hate, I hate saying like the 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 material is nothing without me, but it really isn't. You know. Like, the material wouldn't be the same with or without me if the material wasn't mine to begin with. Yes. Not even when you didn't earn it, when you didn't sacrifice to get it.
Yeah, exactly. And like the thing is, is like, you guys appreciate me even responding to your DMs, and I feel bad when I I don't respond your DMs after an hour or two, you know. So I think that creates a good, you know, working loop. Cause like for me, I hate letting DMs stack up. Like that, that just genuinely pisses me off. Because if I have fifteen DMs to attend to and I'm procrastinating on it, then I'm just like, you know what, fuck. Like I'm gonna be frustrated later if I don't do this now. So I'll just drop what I'm doing and I actually go get it done. But yeah, I don't like stacking up stuff till the end. Like. I do it with school all the time, but school is different. Um, but yeah, do you guys have any final questions? Cool, cool. Yeah, bro, I mean, you're still new. And then also, um, we will start one-on-ones up for whoever wants to do them. And if they become, like, too many, then I'll get the admins involved. And even when I do start doing one-on-ones, you don't have to come to me. You can always DM a, an admin and, you know, get it sorted with them. I don't, I don't mind. Cool though. Uh, I guess we can end it off there. Cool. I guess we can end it off there.